Hi everyone, uh, my name is Billy Hoyle and I am a third year geological engineering student uh, here at Queen's. Uh, and I'm going to be talking to you today about the student experience I've had while here. So when I was in first year, uh, I was really struggling uh, on what discipline to go into. Uh, I knew I wanted to do a, a physical uh, engineering degree and what really drove me to pick geo um, was first of all the amazing profs the experience of getting to know them personally, um, asking them questions, having them uh, respond to emails right away. Uh, and this kind of family extends to, uh, to small class sizes. Um, Queens is one of the only schools that offers field methods in second year. Um, and this means that students have uh, employable skills um, and they can be hired for um, jobs in their field uh, straight out of second year. So there's four sub-disciplines of geological engineering, um, and you don't necessarily have to pick one. Um, it depends on which courses you end up taking in your third and fourth year as electives. Um, these are mineral exploration, uh, environmental engineering, geotechnical engineering, and geophysics. Um, so why should you choose geo? Uh, well, first of all, there is an incredible range of courses you can select. Um, you can go into a more mining heavy uh, course load, you can go into a more civil heavy course load. Um, you can take environmental science classes, business classes, uh, math classes, um, whatever you find most interesting. And these are all super employable skills that a plethora um, of employers are looking for. Um, I know some people that graduated end up going into business, um, some people that go to work for mining companies, um, a lot of people that go to work for environmental uh, consulting companies. Um, so really there's tons of opportunities uh, and the job market is constantly expanding. I highly recommend uh, going into geological engineering. Um, I know I've had an amazing time and it is an experience uh, you will not forget. Hi, my name is Mark McDonald. I recently completed my undergraduate degree in geological engineering this past spring of 2020. I also completed a four month work term with BGC Engineering based in Calgary, Alberta. Favorite courses for my time in the department include my fourth year engineering design project where my team was responsible for the geotechnical design of an open pit mine wall. Under the guidance of engineers from BGC and our professor, Dr. Mark Diedrichs, our team won the National CGS Design Award for the project. In third year, I love taking terrain evaluation and remote sensing as it provided a great opportunity for the work that I was about to do with VGC later on. I also love taking geological engineering field school after second year, where I learned what a geological mapping and investigation program looks like. With VGC, I was junior geological engineer and the projects I worked on in my, in my term included field and office based site investigation, for infrastructure projects to proactively manage geohazards for clients across Canada and the United States. I conducted ground level investigations of geohazard sites, which included slopes and river crossings to assess, reduce, and manage geohazard and particularly environmental risks. In the office, my investigations included the use of LIDAR, which is 3D models with laser imagery, inertial measurement data, and landslide susceptibility maps to provide feedback and recommendations to our clients to allow them to better manage their geohazard and environmental risks. I really love my time with the geological engineering department and I know you will too. I think it's a great decision for your career and you're gonna love the next four years. Hi, my name is Simone Marcus. I graduated from Queen's Geoeng in 2017, and I did a master's at Queen's in geomechanics. When I was in first year, I chose geological engineering because I thought it was by far the most exciting discipline. My, exper my experience in the geo department has been awesome. We have a lot of opportunities to go on field trips early on, even in early second year. So in addition to being able to travel and get that hands-on field experience, that's really good for getting a summer job. The, you also become really close with your classmates really quickly because you end up spending so much time together. In my master's, I did research on nuclear waste storage in ge deep geological repositories. For nuclear waste storage, we look at the physical stability of the tunnels that the nuclear waste is stored in. And then we also look at these tunnels for environmental safety and look at the groundwater issues surrounding them. There's a lot of different elements that go into the projects that geoengineers work on. 
We're able to use some of the most advanced numerical modeling software in GEO, especially for projects like this. Like Just like most of my classmates, I had a few opportunities to get work experience during my studies. After third year, I went out to Alberta and I worked in an oil sands mine. As a geo engineering intern, I worked on monitoring the tailings dam at the mine. Tailings dams are these hugely consequential structures that geo engineers work on. We monitor the slopes of the dam for stability, and we also monitor the groundwater quality around the dams for contaminants to keep the lakes and the rivers clean. Beyond the geotechnical and geo environmental side, geo engineers can also get involved in the oil and gas production side or the mine operations. There's really a lot of different roles that you can apply the skills you learn in GEO to. I also had the chance to get some work experience at a construction engineering company. The company was called QIT, and it's actually the same company that's building the new bridge in Kingston. GEO engineers are really critical for construction projects, not just because we can be the designers of the large structures like tunnels or earth dams, but also supporting those intermediate steps of construction, the temporary design aspects. So something like shoring walls for building a foundation or rock causeways that are used to build a bridge. There are a lot of exciting careers in geo beyond the ones that I've just mentioned here. I think that choosing geoengineering is a really great choice and I hope to see you around the department next year. Hello, my name is Callum Walter. I started my academic career in geological engineering back in 2012 as an undergraduate student here at Queen's. In 2016, I graduated the geological engineering program. And then as you can see from my timeline, I spent the better part of a decade studying this fascinating discipline. I'd now like to take a few minutes to tell you a little bit more about my academic passion, which is applied geophysics. So applied geophysics is exploring the subsurface and being able to use different physical techniques to peer into the subsurface and see what we can't see with just our eyes. So this could be mapping out different sedimentary layers or looking at using a geophysical survey to map out an archeological uh, dig and predict where different structures, archeological structures might be within the subsurface. Other geophysical applications include mineral and oil and gas exploration, hydrological studies and environmental assessments. So an example of this would be if there's a contaminant that is entered into the subsurface, we can use a geophysical survey to map out this contaminant in red and then apply the appropriate mitigation strategies to clean it up. Other applications include infrastructure detection, unexploded ordnance detection, and archeological studies all within the shallow subsurface and some more larger scale applications include looking at the whole earth system and earth history. For geophysics equipment we have a specialized array of instruments that we can deploy on many different types of platforms. This includes airborne sensors, sensors on the grounds. This also includes having specialized equipment that is brought into the field by different field personnel. And one of the more interesting things that our department has and what really sets us apart is that we're the only department in Canada that has a specialized superconducting iGrav, which is a highly sensitive gravimeter. For geophysics research, we've been very innovative in looking at ways to incorporate geophysical sensors with up and coming new technologies, such as drones and multi-rotor UAVs and actually being able to go and take these technologies that we've developed out into the field and collect different geologic, geophysical surveys to tell us something about the geology and what might be in the subsurface. And of course, finally, the most important thing, geophysics careers, there's a wide variety of different geophysical careers offered within Canada that could be right for you. This could involve urban geophysics, modeling and mapping of different uh, subsurface deposits, as well as being a field geophysicist so any of these different companies that I show here would be happy to hire any of our geophysics grads in our department. Hi everyone, I'm Caitlin Fisher and I just graduated from the geological engineering program in the class of 2020 just last April and I'm now pursuing my master's of applied science in geological engineering as well and I'm gonna be working on that for the next two years. 
In this presentation, I'm going to be talking to you about two different things. Firstly, uh, my coolest undergraduate work experience when I was in the geological engineering department, and also graduate opportunities for after your undergraduate degree in this department as well. So when I was in my undergrad at Queens in the geological engineering program, I had the opportunity to work for Golder in their Vancouver office, and I was working with their mine stability team. And if you're not familiar with Golder, they do a lot of consulting and design services in the earth and environmental science industry. So it's the perfect company for a geological engineer. And when I was there, I worked as a rock mechanics student. So I was able to do a number of stability analyses and other geological work on some really major projects like Grassberg Mine, Bingham Canyon Mine, which is the world's largest open pit, and Diabic Mine. In terms of graduate opportunities in the geological engineering program, um, we're kind of talking about master's degrees and PhD degrees here. Um, there are a lot of opportunities in our department, and you can specialize in a particular field that you really enjoy about geological engineering. So different opportunities would include studying geochemistry, geophysics, geomechanics, or geoenvironmental topics. In each of these different fields, we have really high-tech laboratories and the opportunity for hands-on learning for students. And we also have a lot of collaboration opportunities with other departments like the Mining and Civil Department at Queen's and also with the Royal Military College in Kingston. So graduate school is a great way to specialize your studies and become an even more valuable tool for working in industry. And it's also a window to get you into the world of academia if you wanted to be a professor or work for a university. Um, and one thing that people don't commonly realize about grad school is that you're actually paid to learn, unlike your undergraduate degree. Um, so you're actually making money while you're learning and doing such interesting research topics. So that's definitely um, a great opportunity in the graduate department. Thanks everyone for listening to me and I really hope that I'll be able to see you around the halls of Miller in the upcoming years and I hope that you'll consider geological engineering it's a really great discipline and I've loved my time in it.